Swiss Village, as it was known by the locals, was originally built by Arthur Curtis James in a, between 1910 and 1916. And it, it's an incredible site. 13 stone buildings make up our entire campus. To start at the very beginning, our council lady came here and knocked on the door and said, did you know that the Swiss Village in Edgehill is going to be sold at auction in a week? So we got in the car and she drove us around the Swiss Village and Sam said, Dodo, we've got to, got to be very supportive of this. Originally, Arthur Curtis James had inherited a prized Guernsey cow collection and decided that he wanted to build an operating farm. And he hired Stowe Phelps and Grosvenor Atterbury to design and build an Italian Swiss village. So at the time, he called it Surprise Valley Farm, and the locals called it Swiss Village. Fate is fascinating. Timing is everything. I was at a cocktail party with the head of development of Tufts Veterinary School, and I said to her, I need to talk to somebody about animals. When I first met Mrs. Hamilton, it was because she contacted Tufts University to see if we could help her decide how she could turn the farm she had just bought into a productive farm. And she asked very early on about raising rare breeds because she had, she had read about the plight of endangered breeds. One day I said to her, well, you have about 35 acres here. That's a large enough farm to raise about 300 sheep and that would restore the genetic diversity of that particular breed if it was highly endangered. But then what do you do? So it'll be a dead end if you just restore one breed, so why not save them all? The mission of SVF Foundation is a collection of genetic material from endangered breeds of livestock. All of the buildings were restored exactly as they were on the exterior, but the interiors were rehabilitated to use them for modern day science. To date, we have about 67,000 samples. We're about 12 years into the project. We'll complete the mission that she set us out to do. Oh, I'm so proud of everybody. I mean, I swear to heaven, Peter Borden restoring the buildings and not having one thing changed is just so brilliant. I just guess the continuity of people taking a piece of property and land and making it beautiful and then keeping it that way has got great appeal.